Hi, this is Paul from Domain Scanners. This is a quick video to show how to insert line breaks and manage image alignment within WordPress. So here we can see we've got three lines and if I was to double enter a return there and enter test line 4 and update this, it doesn't have the desired effect. It seems to get rid of the, the line break. As you can see, if we look at the, the site, we haven't got our line break. It's as if it's forgotten about it. Now a quick trick to use is to flick over to HTML and insert the following HTML tag. Which is just a break and a non-break in space and wrap that. If we update that, we can see visually we've got a our, we've got our line space and that's retained that on the website as well. Now another trick to use if you flick back is to insert a horizontal rule and we can do that by inserting the HR tag so if we update that and flick back to the site we can now see we've got a, a line separating our content so that can be quite useful especially when there's a lot of content on your page um, another useful trick is to split the content of the page so you just show a summary of your text and a link which actually links to the full body of your post. Now you can do that by inserting the more tag within WordPress so I'll show you how to do that now. And this doesn't work on pages it only works on posts so let's just flick over to a post and we'll enter some text so if you wanted to split this here I'll bring the cursor to where we want to split the text and then we click the insert more tag and you can see we've got this more tag now which has just inserted this this more tag in HTML and when we update this post and flick back to the site you can see now that read the rest of this entry and when you click that you actually get the full body of the post now the final thing I'd like to show is um, about image alignment which can also be a bit tricky sometimes so if we take an image which I've already uploaded uh, this one here and we insert that into the post let's just flick over to visual and we put some text in and we update that that's come through on the site pretty much as it looks in the, the visual editor but we might want to put this text up here and align it to the top of the image so we can do that by clicking the image and in the top left click the edit image icon and here the alignment at the moment is set to none so the text is going to be down at the bottom if we select left that jumps to the top so we can update that visually that's represented here we can update and if we update our site we can see that that's jumped to the top now it's sometimes handy to have more control over this text we might want the text to sort of appear here or maybe in the center of the image or slightly below the center so we can use some CSS to control that part which I'll do now so we flick over to HTML this here has inserted a, let's just tidy this up, it's inserted a, a link for the image which is only going to confuse things a little bit. So we've still got our image, we've still got our, our text. If we update this it'll be exactly the same, it's just now we've taken the, the hyperlink out so nothing will happen if we click the, uh, the image. So here we've got our text so we want to, let's move, nudge this down a little bit. So I'm in HTML and what we do is we wrap the text within a span tag and then we give that span tag, tag excuse me, a style and we use position relative top and then we nudge it down by how many pixels we want and then we just close off that span tag now if you look now we can see that that's, it's, it's nudged it down somewhat and that'll reflect exactly the same on the site as well so if I reload that page you can see that's jumped down so if you wanted to jump it down some more 
if we would just increase these are the amount of pixels from the top of that span tag so if I enter I don't know 75 here update that and we can see on the site that's now nudged down some more so that concludes this video we've discussed inserting line breaks inserting horizontal rules uh, image alignment and the text alignment for those images thanks for watching